hello all uh, welcome to our uh, remote lab session 1 in this remote lab session uh, let's uh, speak about uh, uh, how we can access the remote lab for instance first let's go with uh, a website or lab dot bits iphone pilani dot ac dot in and then you go with your username and password log in here once you log in here you can find this website in this website to go to electrical electronics technology in this you have a different set of experiments synchronous motor generator setup asynchronous motor generator setup and a DC motor generator setup so let's go with the one by one so you can download the user manuals from here and let's go with the synchronous generator set in this you have again a set of experiments experiment number one two three four five six set of experiments are there and uh, you, you can uh, start any experiment as you want so the starting of experiment so starting of a synchronous motor let's go with this one so here you can find aim theory procedure calculations and this is the experiment number one so in this experiment number one the main aim of this experiment is to understand how to start the synchronous motor in order to achieve the synchronism and analyze its stock so firstly what we need to do is we need to connect the circuit as per the diagram so that is already inbuilt so we need not to do anything here since the synchronous motor is not self starting it should be started with an induction motor so firstly we need to run the induction motor rarely at the rated speed when the rotor is close to the synchronous speed then we can exit the DC supply to the field winding which makes the motor to rotate at synchronous speed so we can observe the change in the stator current and make a note of it now calculate the torque before and after achieving the synchronism so this is the process that you can calculate now you can go for the schedule it is uh, having a calendar so I have a 4 o'clock schedule so it's available green in the sense it's available so let's go with 4 o'clock schedule and launch the lab once you launch the lab here it will pop up the message here so this is the experiment kit that is available here and uh, let's see the circuit how we can see here so this is the lab view file you just double click on this file once you double click on this file you can notice that here the light is grown here here you need to start the experiments if it is feel that it's a bit uh, you know you can change it you can click left click on the experiment so now as per our theory we need to start the synchronous mating so the starting of the synchronous machine so as per our theory it is the theory is again written here okay as per our procedure the procedure is written whenever I start this one you can find the green bulb is blinking here now let me start the motor okay now the motor is started now what I need to do is I need to run the motor at 50 Hertz now let me increase the speed to 50 Hertz you can find the torque is increasing and the stator current if you want to see the torque and stator current you can update the values okay at this frequency and update these values here you can find uh, torque versus stator current characteristics also and even you can increase the frequency up to 50 and you can update the values once your values are updated then as per our instruction motor excitation voltage we need to give now mode till achieve the synchronism let's give the motor excitation voltage